Welcome everyone to what I consider to be a new season on Adam Bryce Vlogs. Today is the most important episode ever been on the channel. Ever. No vlog has ever meant more than this one does to me right now. Today is my last day of school. Monday, June 19th. I'm going to high school for the last time today for full classes. Tomorrow I have an exam, but that's just, you know, you go, you walk in in like the afternoon and do your exam and leave. But like, last day of classes ever is today. 14 years I've been going to school. It's finally over. Feels kind of weird. This vlog here is also really important because this is the first vlog where we go daily and we don't stop. I kept saying to myself, oh, this summer, don't you wait. Once I'm out of school this summer, I'm gonna be going daily. When is that? That's right now. It kind of scared me. Yesterday, I was going to bed and I was like, hold up. Tomorrow's my last day of school, which means I should be daily vlogging if I'm not going to school. So this is it. This is the last day of classes. And for one whole year, I'm gonna test pilot daily vlogging. I'm gonna vlog my whole first year out of school. And I'm just gonna be traveling constantly, by the way. I have so many travels in, in the works and planned already. And uh, just tons of fun stuff and, and, and daily vlogs. So, <sighs> get ready for that. It's gonna be insane. I know the, be the beginning of this isn't gonna be too crazy because I'm gonna be doing the daily grind, but it's gonna take a while for those views to get up there. But hey, this should be fun. So, I'm off to school. I'm gonna take you guys with me for my last day. And let's see where the rest of the world takes us. Every day during third period, right after lunch, I have 75 minute break um, and I always come home. Sometimes I'll work, but most of the time I play guitar. So I pick one of the many guitars we are uh, rocking here and um, just kind of jam. Then if I'm digging that guitar, I take it to guitar class, which is my fourth period, and that's how I end the day. So I'm actually kind of in school right now and I gotta say guys, this semester of school, this five months or whatever, I have became a much better guitar player just by playing close to two and a half hours of guitar, it, like straight, not throughout the day, but a big chunk of my day, like two hours of my day, every day to guitar. I mean, I always used to play, but like, 
I would pick up my guitar for half an hour and jam the songs I know and put it down, it'd be fun. But like, I have just been so efficient just trying to learn more and, and do more. And um, playing two hours a day of like solid practice, I became so much better. So um, that's, that's kind of how all my school days have gone. I've been sitting here and playing guitar. And so I thought I'd include that in the vlog because that's what I do. Um, and it's easy to vlog here at home, so. <laughs> That being said, that means that it is third period, which means I already had first and second. First being photography, second being English. They were both pretty chill. Not a lot of people in my English class, I guess, because it is the last day. All we're doing is exam review, so no one really comes. I, I go, but and photography was chill as well. Just finishing some last minute assignments, um, but nothing too crazy there. All right, guys, I want to show you something. So a while ago, I decided what guitars I'm keeping forever and just, that's my collection and the ones I'm getting rid of. And for the longest time in the Nerf room here, I had seven guitars that I was getting rid of. I got an SG in here, a custom shop Les Paul, Les Paul Classic. This is a Gibson ES-137, and then this weird guitar. And I also had a Rickenbacker 360 and a American Standard Telecaster. One of my old favorite music stores got bought out by Long & McQuaid, a big, Canadian guitar store here. It's almost been like a year. Those have been sitting there. I kept saying I'll sell them I'll sell them. I'm gonna go try story time story time So I just got back from trying to sell those guitars the place. I went to they're like this is okay It's really it's a lot easier to acquire a guitar than it is to get rid of it for profit Anyways, that's not what the story's about basically my truck, right? So my truck is pretty long. Like, it's a GMC Canyon, so it's still a mid-sized truck, but it's just as long as a regular vehicle. It's, it's, it's pretty long, okay? I got the, the six foot, yeah, like six and a half foot box. So it's, um, it's Deese. It's full crew cab with a six something foot box. It's pretty big. And the parking lot, where I was going is a tiny parking lot. I know, I've known it for a long time, it's very small. And I get there and there's one spot left and it's between this minivan and this, some Honda, um, like CRV, like some bigger kind of mid-sized vehicle. And they were both parked on the very edges of their lines, okay? The very edges of their lines, meaning that my space with my big truck was tight and with turning radius, there's not a lot of space to get out before you can swing in. So I'm coming in on a crazy angle. And I basically end up, by the time I'm in there, kind of sideways and and I kid you not, maybe that close to her car, to the, to the Honda's car. But mind you, I was maybe foot and a half on the other side and maybe just a foot apart on the other side. Like it was tight. So she, turns on her car, let me go outside. She, uh, she turns on her car and I think, she, I think she's leaving. So I'm like, okay, cool, I won't be in her way. And I can, I can move my truck uh, properly into the spot. She doesn't, she just, she adjusts her so that she's further away. And then when she pulls back in, I look at her and uh, I wave and I go, hey, thanks. And she just gives me the death eye. She just stares me down and I was like, I was like, I'm sorry, I, th I thought you were just moving because we, you know, I, it was a tight space and you gave me some room and I appreciate it, but she was mad. So I'm, I'm embarrassed to get out of my vehicle, right? And so I let her get out and I'm looking at my rear view mirror as she's like walking into her like little cafe, she keeps looking back and she's like mouthing the numbers of my plate. I was freaking out, I don't know. She was looking at my plate and so I go into my g guitar store, find out that they don't buy. So I look around a little bit, play a play a 12 string, and I get back in my truck, and she's gone. Truck's not keyed or anything, nothing's wrong with it, but she wrote my, I, I don't know if she wrote it down, because I, I, when I got out, like I said, she was already gone, so I don't know what she did. She might have wrote my plate down. Um, I don't know what she can do with that. Maybe she can report me for being reckless driving. I don't know, Ben. She, she was just like some 55, 60s age, and uh, she was just crass. 
and I, I don't know if you know this about me, but whenever stuff like that happens to me, I felt so bad. I didn't even do anything wrong, but for some reason I felt awful. Like I was the kid where in school, like even all the way up to like grade five, if I was talking in class to my friend and, I, and the teacher like called me out and was like, hey, you Adam, stop talking, I would start crying because I never wanted to like disappoint anyone and I, I hate, I hated feeling like a failure or a disappointment. So when I'm driving around and I do a not so good parking job and this lady just got so mad at me, I felt so bad. I was like, you know, I, I just, I ashamed in myself. I don't know why and I shouldn't be looking back at it, but I get that way. I guess a story isn't worth much if it doesn't have a, a message, right? A takeaway, it has to have a, a takeaway. That story, I don't know, maybe that's just an entertaining story. What's the, what did you learn from that story? Let me know in the comments below. So by now you've probably figured out that school is indeed over and this happens every year, but it doesn't really feel like it's over, you know? Like school's over, but in high school, school kind of just does this. It, does, it doesn't really just like end because you still have to go to exams. I still have prom and graduation and it just kind of, slowly tapers off and classrooms turn into exam halls and exam halls turn into rec halls for grad and then prom and then and then it just kind of fizzles out and you're like i guess it's summer now um then you have to go back for handing in some papers i don't know there's there's always reasons you have to go back so that was my last day of classes but not really the last time i'll have to go or any any of that just to, just to clarify all right everyone that's the end of this vlog. It kind of sucked. You're probably wondering why my head looks so stupid and why I'm not showing you my hair and it's because I got a haircut and it's revealed in tomorrow's vlog which is today because I'm finishing this vlog. It's the next day. It's why I'm in different clothes. Basically, the vlog you're watching that night, I just spent the whole night studying for my English exam so I didn't get to finish the vlog. But anyways, I'm finishing it now like a dork. With my head all covered and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Like I said, like I said, this vlog wasn't too entertaining because it was just like, ooh, I was in my head, I was thinking, yay, last day of school. But in reality, it was just another day of school. So nothing crazy happened. But today, the rest of my life is going to be so cool, so great. So I hope you stick along. And if you're new, subscribe for all the different kinds of content. I just look so silly. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, this was Adam signing off.